everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Amy and I am on a financial freedom journey with my family. I am today sharing a long awaited video. I have had this list of things in my phone since December of 2023. I originally meant to film this video in January, but then I actually thought about it a little bit more and I wanted to get a little bit into the year before sharing because I wanted to make sure that I was actually not going to buy any of these 24 things. So today's video is 24 things I'm not buying in 2024. I have actually not made any changes to this list. So that just goes to show that we are really not buying these things because we are now well into March at this point and we have not bought any of these things and I do not plan on buying any of these things. So if you see me looking down, I have my laptop because I do have my list of things that I want to share that we're not buying in 2024. And I will try to go into a little bit of an explanation of why we're not buying these certain things. But again, Super excited to share this because I have thought long and hard. I spent a lot of December just trying to make sure that we're being intentional with our financial goals. And one of the ways that we're doing that is by trying to decrease our spending and also just spend on things that are actually important to us and like align our values with what we're spending on. So the first thing on my list of 24 things I'm not buying in 2024 is jewelry. So I am not a big jewelry girl i'm wearing i really just wear my wedding band and my engagement ring i have this necklace that i got at target like years ago that i have literally worn for years and i have my earrings and my apple watch not a big jewelry person so this one is not like a hard one for me um, but i know a lot of you guys really enjoy jewelry and i think that's amazing but it's just something that has never really been like something that I value or that I really like even wearing, honestly, like I said, I wear like the same jewelry every single day. And so it was an easy one for me to put on the list because I feel like I can sometimes get in the trap of like wanting to buy jewelry for like random specific events. Like if we're going to a wedding or something, I'm like, oh, I should really get a necklace. Like I just need to be more mindful that like in reality, I don't need to buy any jewelry because I'm not going to wear it. Like I wear my same stuff all the time, all the time. I've had, like I said, I've had these for years and years and I just need to accept the fact that I am not a jewelry girl and that's okay. Not, you don't need to be. Um, so that was my first thing on my list. Randomly, that was just the first thing that I thought of when I was thinking of things that I'm not buying. Number two is a hard one for me, to be honest, because it is something that I enjoy buying, but something that is just not a priority in 2024, which is water bottles. Yeah, like Stanley's. I have an Owala, which I will link Owala, um, the one that I have in the bio below. I've had it for a few months. It is amazing. I absolutely love it. Um, I highly recommend Owala. It has a like free sip straw and it closes. It doesn't leak at all. It's amazing. Like best water bottle I've ever bought. I bought that back in 2023. And when I was making this list, I was like, all right, we need to put a stop to the water bottles because I have gone through so many water bottles. Hydro Flask. Um, I've never actually owned a Stanley, but I've definitely thought about it. And now Awala and just all these other random water bottles. So I have made a deal with myself that I will not buy any in 2024. I haven't so far and I'm not planning on it. So <laughs> hold me to that. If you see me with a new water bottle, bottle on Instagram, call me out because I don't need to buy one. But I do highly recommend the Awala. So I will link it if you guys want to check it out. It is the best water bottle I've ever found. It's amazing, but I don't need a new one because I have that one and I love it. So that is my number two. My number three is K-cups or like single serve coffee items. So we have like an old school coffee pot. I personally am not a huge coffee drinker. I drink it on occasion. My husband really likes coffee. Um, and we used to have a Keurig years ago, but what I've learned about Keurigs myself is that they break quickly. At least that's our experience with them. So we stopped buying Keurigs a couple years ago. We just have like an old school coffee pot. And honestly, this is more of a like waste thing for me. Um, not necessarily a money thing, although it is expensive to buy like the single serve K cups, but it's more of like just a waste thing. Like I don't want to have a bunch of K cups going in the landfill because I can just make a get a giant thing of coffee and make it daily and not have like all that waste. So that's kind of the reasoning on that one. Again, it's not something that I really use a lot, but my husband does drink coffee. So added that to my list. 
The next one is fast fashion. So this is a very general category, a very broad category, but it is something that is really important to me because I don't want to, again, this is like a waste thing as well, not necessarily a money thing because a lot of times fast fashion is actually more affordable than you know higher quality pieces or like other stores. Um, but it's just something that I don't want to put my money towards. It's not something that I think is good for the world. There's a lot of problems with fast fashion. Um, I watched a documentary on it. I can't remember the name. If you guys have seen it, drop it in the comments. I'll try and remember and see if I can find it. Um, but it was just really eye-opening about how destructive the fast fashion industry is to the world and how it is cheap because of how it's manufactured and not because, you know, oh, it's just so cheap. Like there's reasons why it's cheap. So I have made a deal with myself. I will not be buying anything on Shein or Timu or any of the other like fast fashion or fast products apps because that's just not something that personally aligns with my values. I don't want to contribute to that. So I will be buying clothes like I always have primarily from the thrift store. Honestly, this shirt is from the thrift store <laughs> um, and I love it. I wear it all the time. But yeah, I love the thrift stores. I love buying secondhand. So that is something that's easy for me. I've never really bought off Shein. I think I maybe have bought one thing one time off Shein many years ago and haven't since. So this is not one that will probably be really hard for me, but it is something that I wanted to talk about because I think that, yeah, it's great if you do that, if that aligns with you, but I just can't get behind it and don't want to spend money on that either, just because I feel like a lot of the clothes doesn't last very long and all of that. So next up is Tupperware. I may have a problem with this as well. This is like along the same lines of the water bottles for me. Like I just love a good Tupperware. Like I just love a good container and I don't need any. I bought a really nice set of glass Tupperware on Amazon years ago. I will link it if you guys want to check it out. Um, if I can still find it again, I bought it like five years ago. It's glass with like a plastic top. So it's really easy to take care of. It's really lasted very long and I don't need any more. So I'm not allowing myself to buy that this year. So far, so good. I haven't yet, but Costco especially always tempts me with like all their little Tupperware setups and stuff. And I'm always like, oh, I should get those for my fridge or whatever. So no Tupperware. Next up, excessive cleaning products. Same lines as like just the overconsumption. Like I feel like every time I see like a new Mrs. Meyer scent or like a new anything, like at Target especially, they have like the best layouts and like the best end caps for like all the cleaning products. And I just need to use what we have. I have like five, this is embarrassing. I have like five multi-purpose sprays under my sink right now that are like, all of them are like used, but not fully. Like they're just, you know, I'll buy a new one and then I'll start to use it and then I'll forget that I had the other one. So I am committing myself to using what we have and not buying like just excess of cleaning products because we just don't need it. Like we need to use what we have and move on. Along those same lines, air fresheners is my next one. Um, I have stopped using air fresheners. I do still have some candles that I have that I have been using periodically. It's not something that I really use a lot, but if I'm like really in the mood for like a scent, I try to go more along the lines of like a candle than like an air freshener. I used to be one of those girls that had like the wallflower, wallflower plugins in like every room. Not only is that expensive, but it's also just not necessary. Like, I don't feel like we need it. As long as you keep your house relatively clean, it's probably not gonna smell. So just, that's my thought on that. Um, I'm trying to be better about it because I do love like a scent. Like I love, I love the, the smell of the plugins, but it's just not good for my wallet probably or my health. I don't know. Um, and along the same lines as like the excess cleaners, I also have the same one on my list for makeup. So like excessive makeup, I need to use what I have because I have a lot of makeup that I don't use. I don't wear a lot of makeup. I'm sure you guys know that. I have been on this channel for a long time and I basically never wear makeup except for like mascara and sometimes some foundation and eyeliner, sometimes eyeshadow, but rarely. So. I just need to stop buying makeup because I clearly don't use it very often. Um, and I'm just like one of those people that really is like intrigued by makeup, but I'm just in practice. I don't wear it enough. So trying not to buy any makeup. The next one is a great one because it's souvenirs. So I am not wanting to buy any souvenirs on trips that we take. 
This is something that I've done for years, actually. This is not really a temptation necessarily for me anymore. Um, I just don't like souvenirs. Like, I don't want them in my house. Um, there's like exceptions to this, of course. Like, my kids sometimes will want, you know, things from like gift shops and stuff. And sometimes I will cave, depending on like what it is and where we are. But primarily we do not buy souvenirs like the the trip is the experience and we will always remember whatever trip we go on um with pictures and all of that kind of stuff but like having you know a picture frame that says walt disney world in my house i just don't want it i don't want to have it next item on my list is just because it's on sale this could apply to anything and is something that I'm super guilty of all the time. Like I'll buy something like, oh, I need a backup of this and it's on sale, I'll buy it. Or, oh, I should get five of these because they're on sale. And there's exceptions to this, like some food products that I probably would make an exception to this for, like the, if I know that we'll use it. So like, for example, if you know meat is on sale, I will buy that like just because it's on sale because we will use it and we'll need it anyway. But I'm talking more like clothing items, anything else it just could be applied to anything I feel like I fall into this trap a lot at Costco like it's on sale I should get it no next on my list is books and movies if you guys have followed me for a long time you know that my husband and I are huge advocates and proponents for our local library we love our local library we use it all the time for books movies anything that we can get at our public library we do so like buying books and movies is not necessarily something that I'm like concerned that I'll do throughout the year but it's more so just a reminder to me to use the resources that we have at the library and I also don't want to rent movies either like I I just I'm trying to be more minimal with like the movie stuff and just rent movies from the library when we can or use like the streaming services that we do have. Um, yeah, so movies, books, all that kind of stuff. I don't wanna buy those this year. My next thing is purses, backpacks, or anything of that sort. Again, like I've said, a lot of other things that are relevant in this is just, I don't need them. I have a ton of purses and backpacks. I don't need any more. I need to use the ones that I have or donate the ones that I have. So that is what I'm working towards this year is not buying any new purses or backpacks. Again, I love purses and backpacks. Like those are my, and diaper bags. I should have added that in here too. Um, I love those kind of things and they're definitely traps that I can fall into. So hopefully we'll stick to that all year. No backpacks, no purses, no diaper bags. Hold me to that. I think it was the end of December. I did buy a new diaper bag, but I'm pretty sure it was before I started this. It was like the end of December. I will link it because it is the best diaper bag I've ever found. And I have been a mom for 10 years. Holy crap, 10 years. And I have like, since my first was born, been trying to find a diaper bag that I like. Anybody else? I can never find a diaper bag that I like. I don't like the tote ones. I love the backpack ones, but I feel like the backpack ones that I use, I don't end up liking. I will link the one that I have because I have used it for months now and it is truly my favorite that I've had. It is cute, it is practical, but it's not, it doesn't really look like a diaper bag that much to me. I think it just looks like a backpack. So I'll link it if you guys are curious, but trying not to buy any more of those. Um, decorative pillows. I don't really need to say anything about that. Just decorative pillows. I love decorative pillows. I have some on my couch right now. How many decorative pillows have I bought and then donated within like months of each other, probably 20. I'm not even exaggerating. Like I think that I love decorative pillows and then in practice, my kids throw them around my house and then I donate them. So no decorative pillows. <laughs> nail polish, kind of along the same lines of makeup. I don't want to buy nail polish this year. I have a bunch of nail polish that I don't even use most of the time. So need to stay away from, basically the moral of this is that I probably need to stay away from Target. but. Nail polish. Um, another one that is similar to another one I have on my list is disposable water bottles. So the first item that I talked about was like, you know, reusable water bottles. I have a problem with that. Um, and I don't wanna buy disposable water bottles like throwaway um, water bottles either because that's just really wasteful. And again, that's more of a waste thing than a money thing because disposable water bottles are super cheap, but I just don't wanna buy them. I don't wanna like, contribute to the landfill and we have reusable water bottles that we can use so i am sticking to my no disposable water bottles i am making one exception for the entire year which is when we are in florida um, because we just need the flexibility of having some disposable water bottles we are bringing our reusable as well 
but I do just want to have some there in case we need to grab a go or like just need it for some reason. So I am making that one exception, but otherwise we are not planning on buying that at all this year. Next item is tied to the fast fashion and it is Dollar Tree items. Now I used to be one of those people that really thought that the Dollar Tree was a great place to shop. And I think that it still is um, in moderation, but it's honestly just something that I don't want to participate in anymore at all because I feel like every time I go to the dollar store, I end up getting 18 items that I didn't need and then the one or two items that I did need. So it's like, I just feel like it's not a good place for me to go. So I'm just saying absolutely no dollar store. It's done. We're not doing that this year. Um, if I need like little items or whatever, I will get them at the grocery store or somewhere else. But the dollar store is just too tempting to me because everything is so cheap and it's just like throw it in the cart, throw it in the cart, and then you have 40 items. Like, how does that happen? Not doing it. Um, throw blankets, probably should have included this with my um, throw pillows, but throw blankets, like couch blankets. Again, same along the lines of the throw pillows. I just don't need them. I have a bunch of them. And the ones that we do have, I have in the closet. Like we don't even use them that often. So no more throw blankets. Next up is supplements. And if there's a theme in this, this entire video, it's just that I am easily influenced, okay? Um, I feel like I'm on TikTok all the time and Instagram and I see like these people buying these specific supplements and oh, I'm having such a great, you know, experience with this supplement and oh, this has changed my life and yada, yada, yada. I just, no, I'm not doing it. I take my multivitamin, that's it. I'm, I'm done, I'm done with the supplements. I have bought so many over the years that I have thrown out because they've gone bad or I've used them for a little bit and then I forget about them or I use them for a little bit and they don't work and I get mad and throw them away. Um, no supplements unless I get, per you know, unless my doctor obviously tells me I need something, then I would make an exception, but I don't see that happening. And I just don't wanna buy supplements this year because I just end up throwing them out. Next up is Brand name items, this is kind of a general statement, but I in general do not really buy a lot of brand name stuff. I try to buy generic as much as I can. So I will continue that this year and yeah, just try to buy generic when it makes sense. A lot of times Walmart has really great, great value items that I love and just trying to save money by not buying brand name items when I don't need to. There are certain things that I do like the brand name of that I will buy, but in general, I try to buy generic when I can. The next up is alcohol, which may be a touchy subject, but I have not drank much for a really long time. Um, I obviously had, you know, drank in my 20s, my early 20s, and it's just not something that really fits in with my life anymore. I do drink on social occasions. I have drank one time this year, one day this year, um, that's it. One day we had my husband's holiday party for work in January, I did drink at that party and definitely regretted it the next day because when you don't drink for a really long time and then you drink, it's not good the next day, especially when you're in your mid thirties. So <laughs> I definitely regretted that the next day, but I'm not saying that I'm never going to drink, but buying alcohol is just not something that's a priority for me anymore. And at this point in my life, I have young kids. I just don't value drinking. I'm, I've never really been the person that really likes like a glass of wine at the end of the night. Like I just don't really drink. So that's not a hard one for me. My husband does, enjoy beer um but it's something that he's also trying to cut back on so it's something that we're kind of doing together and just saying like we're not going to buy alcohol except for very specific social occasions so there'll probably be like maybe one two three max times that i'll buy alcohol this entire year but other than that just not a priority and it's really expensive and something that i just don't want to spend my money on next up which is my 20th item if you've been counting hopefully you have because i haven't been um excessive gift i am a gift giver i love giving gifts it is my love language to give gifts i just love gifts everything about it christmas is my favorite i love giving gifts but i have felt like in the last few years i've gotten excessive with the gift giving especially to my own children and i really want to cut back on that because that is not the purpose of you know their birthday or christmas it, it's not to get excessive gifts it's to celebrate with your family and i just want to prioritize that more and prioritize experiences more which is something that we've done for my kids birthdays pretty well in the past like we we typically try to do an event with them instead of just buying them like a bunch of gifts um, so that is something that i just want to prioritize more and i also want to remember this in december 
in you know November when I'm shopping for Christmas remind me don't let me forget no excessive gifts okay I feel like I did pretty good last year on Christmas but it was very very hard for me I had to be so intentional I had to I literally returned some things I didn't I don't think I talked about this in my like Christmas gift video but I did return things because at the end of the you know when I was getting that video together I had more gifts for my kids and I was like no like this is enough um, and I think that's okay. I think it's okay to like, you know, return things. Like if you, if you do overspend and you are like, oh no, I overspent, like you can fix it <laughs> by returning things, which is what I did. Um, and so I just want to be more mindful of it. I don't want to have to do that again. I, I just want to be more mindful in the moment and not have to like go back and return, you know, the things in the moment. Next up is single use gadgets or appliances. So I have, I don't have a lot of them right now, but I've definitely been tempted to get like the Ninja Creamy um, and like all these like single use tools. I still kind of want the Ninja Creamy if I'm being honest, um, but I'm not gonna buy it because I just know that I'll use it for a little bit and then I'll probably get rid of it. I probably won't use it long term. Um, it's kind of a novelty item. And the same with like a lot of kitchen gadgets. Like there's just a lot of single use things that I just don't need. I have a knife and a bowl and like my normal utensils that I use and I can pretty much get by using that. Like for example, I have a pineapple corer and like slicer, which is great. I do use it sometimes, but I find myself most of the time when I have to cut a pineapple, I just use my knife. Like I don't always pull that out. And so honestly, I should probably get rid of it. But just an example of like thing, I don't personally use them, so I don't wanna buy them. Only two more, and these are some big two. These were some large ones on here. So new tech, just to have it. So my phone is I think an iPhone 13. And my husband's, I think, is an 11 or 12. So we have pretty, you know, old iPhones <laughs> compared to like the newest that's out there. But I don't want to buy a new item just to buy it. I don't want to buy new AirPods just to buy new AirPods. I don't want to buy a new phone just to buy a new phone. I don't want to buy a new iPad just to buy a new iPad. Actually, it's funny because we have two iPads. One of them is like four years old and one of them is older than my oldest son. It is 10 years old. It has, I think, 18 gigs of storage it is old <laughs> like it is like one of the first generation of ipads that existed like it is so old but it still works and we still use it all the time and so we have gotten 10 years of use out of that ipad which is incredible and and we do love it but like i don't want to just buy a new one just to buy a new one now if my laptop breaks down or my phone breaks down obviously i need to get a new phone and i'm probably going to buy a newer version than i have but just to buy it is what I don't wanna do because I'm always tempted. Like when the new iPhone comes out, I'm like, I should get the new iPhone. No, you should not. <laughs> and the last thing on my list is food delivery. Again, this is not something that I do often anyway, but it is something that I just wanna be mindful of because I feel like I can definitely fall into the trap of like, especially pizza. I am not like an Uber Eats girly, not, anything like that like I really don't do that kind of stuff at all um, just because it's so ungodly expensive like I can't even stomach it I'm just cheap <laughs> but I do fall for the like pizza delivery trap all the time like we order pizza delivery a decent amount and honestly it's just something that I don't want to do because I can just go pick it up like I why can't I go pick it up because I'm lazy I can go pick it up I just don't want to so I'm trying to just be more reasonable with these things and just try to save money where we can and in the end of like the grand scheme of life, is it the biggest deal to get pizza delivery? No, of course not. Like that's just silly. But when I'm thinking of things that I could reduce this year, that is one of them. So that is something that I'm being mindful of. That is all I have on my list. I would absolutely love to hear what are you guys not buying this year? Let me know in the comments down below. I'm sure there's more things that I could have come up with, but that was my 24 for 24. Feel free to leave a comment down below and I will chat with you guys down there. Thanks so much for watching. Bye guys.